Hi everybody, it's me, our Dallas from Nimble Pros, and in this short video, we're going to look at how to update outdated NuGet packages from the command line interface. If you've used open source and GitHub for a while, you've probably at least seen Dependabot, which will automatically detect when your dependencies are out of date and will create pull requests to your repo to address the issues. As an example, here's the Microsoft reference sample eShop on web which they've turned over to Nimble Pros for ongoing support and maintenance. So we're now the ones that are keeping this up to date. We can see in here on these pull requests, there are several updates here, all from Dependabot. I have this enabled on most of my GitHub repos, including this one, and it's really nice. But it'd be nice if you could easily fix all of these in one go locally as well. Now, yes, you can use Visual Studio's NuGet Package Manager, but I find that to be somewhat slow and cumbersome much of the time and it often fails when I'm trying to do a lot of updates at once. So I end up having to do them a few at a time, and that just increases how long it takes to accomplish this boring task. Enter the .NET Outdated tool, which lets you identify needed updates and apply them right from the command line. Now, before I show you this, I just want to mention that we do have a new course available on Nimble Pros Academy for clean architecture. This course will teach you everything you need to know about this architectural approach so that you'll know when it makes sense to use it, when it doesn't, and how to get started as quickly as possible using my free solution template. Check it out now at academy.nimblepros.com. And also, since Halloween is coming up soon, you can use the code SPOOKY20 to get 20% off the already low price of $99. All right, let's get started with .NET Outdated. I don't actually have it installed on this machine yet, so we're gonna start right from there. And the first thing that we need to do is just say .NET tool install global .NET dash outdated dash tool. Now, like I said, I haven't installed this before, so this might take just a moment. If you do need to update it, it's the same command. You just say .NET tool update, et cetera, et cetera, and it will do the same thing. All right, so now I have this tool installed, and so I want to navigate to a location that has either a project or a solution that I can run this with. And so I'm inside of the eShop on web root folder. And so I have eShop on web dot solution here that I can run this with. And so we can just run .NET outdated. I probably should specify the solution since there's two of them. And then it will analyze the projects and come back and let me know what the status is for those different dependencies. Okay, as you can see, after it completes, it lists each of the different projects. In this case, the first one is application core. It's a .NET 8 project and it has these different packages that are not up to date. So red has one meaning, uh, green and yellow have another meaning in terms of how major the change is. So in this case, these are going up a major version, so they're gonna show up in red. Something that's just going up a little patch version like these is a simple green change. Blazor admin, again, bunch of stuff that's going from .NET 8 uh, 07 to .10, and a couple are going to a .1. Down here, now you can see yellow, Again, this is because it's a minor release. And so you'll see that change uh, for Blazor Shared. It has Fluent Validation going up by a minor release and et cetera, et cetera, right? You can see all the different changes here. If we want to go ahead and, and update all of these, all we have to do is pass it dash U to update and it will do the updates for us. Now this might take a moment, but you're not having to sit there and babysit it while it's happening. If you need to, you can restrict what things it updates by using include or exclude filters. You can also choose whether to update to pre-release packages. And it has a bunch of other flags that make it easy to run as part of a CI build. Things like returning back a non-zero error code if it fails for any reason so that you can fail the build. All right, now that it's all done, we can do a quick get status to see what's changed. And because I'm using global packages, the only thing that's really changed is directory packages.props. So if I wanna do a commit for this, it's gonna be pretty straightforward and I can just push it right to the repo. Now you'll notice that we have these different pull requests that I showed you a moment ago. What's gonna happen is as Dependabot realizes that these updates have been made, it's gonna automatically go and close all these pull requests because I've already taken care of all or mostly all of them by using the command line. So a much, much faster approach because if you try and do them one by one from the pull request, even though it's a really nice feature that it gives us to you, you have to go into each one of these and merge it. And then after you merge it, the next one you do is going to say, oh, it's out of date. And so then you have to you know, update the, this particular pull request to use the latest version from main. And then it's going to have to run some checks and then you might be able to pull request it. So it ends up taking 
mm, you know, like 15 seconds per pull request. So you can't just say merge, 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 and, and be done in a couple seconds. So by doing them all in bulk locally, especially when you have a bunch of them to do, like anytime.net ships a new version and all of your .NET dependencies go up by one small release, you know, then this is the type of tool that's going to save you some real time. All right, so now you see that Dependabout has started closing these. You can see this one was closed uh, just now. And as we come and look at these other ones, same thing is happening. So if I reload all the pull requests, you'll see most of them have been taken care of at this point. And Dependabout's going to go through and continue to clean those up because they're all up to date now. So if you want to learn more about .NET Outdated, go to their GitHub repo at .NET-Outdated slash .NET-Outdated. And if you have any questions or tips you want to share, please leave a comment. If you want more tips like these, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks and keep improving.